Hey everyone, I'm the Hedge Herbalist, aka Christy. Thanks for stopping by my video. We are going to be making a craft of some sort today with my 14 month old. And this is coming from a non-crafty mom, the opposite of a crafty mom. So we will see what we come up with. So I decided to take a walk behind my house. I have this little forest here and there are tons of cool things. Mushrooms, ferns, different types of trees. And this craft is going to be perfect for anyone who wants to remember the fall season. I don't know about you guys, but it is my favorite season. I always get a little sad when it's over and I want something to remember it by. This is actually really great if you um, are a practicing witch, Wiccan or Pagan, and you want something for your altar that's earth-based, you can make a craft, um, leave it on your altar right by it. And overall, just a really great activity to do with your toddler or your child, just to show them the beauty of nature and the things that you can make with your hands. <laughs> She's very excited about it. Um, so we'll take a look and <laughs> see what we can get. The first thing we found were ferns. These are known to have magical powers of protection, love, luck, riches, and youth. The next thing we collected were sticks. This is going to be used for the base of your craft, so definitely make sure you get a good stick. Next, we just got some leaves. The screams fall to me, so definitely wanted to make sure I had these. Next, we picked some blue wood aster. Actually is a weed in my echinacea bed, but asters are known to have magical properties of protection, contentment, and loving vibrations. So first I'm just going to cut up the stick. I wasn't really sure what shape was going to take place when I was doing this, but after cutting it up, I did decide to make a triangle. I'm just gonna put it together now and I'm gonna try to let her help as much as possible, but she is only 14 months old, so she'll just play with it for now. After I set up my shape and what I want it to look like, I'm gonna get some Gorilla Glue and start putting it together. Now, Gorilla Glue is super messy. I did get it all over my hands, so if that happens to you, quick tip, get some nail polish remover and rub it on your hands, as well as hot soapy water. Now, the cool thing about this craft is you don't have to have asters or ferns or even leaves to be able to make this. You're going to be making this with all of the greenery and foliage around you in your environment, and it's really going to remind you of fall then. I just tied the wood together to make sure it didn't fall apart and afterwards I laid out my aster fall leaves and ferns in a design with my daughter. She helped and <laughs> this is what it turned out as. Um, she wanted the leaves in the middle so that's what we did. Now look, I am totally not crafty. This isn't the most beautiful craft in the world but it was a great memory with my daughter and now I have something to hang up right by my herbal space here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope you try this out. If you do, please tag me. I would love to see your craft. If you learned something new today, please like and subscribe. I have a lot of fun things coming.